everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today is a slight departure from the norm in what we're going to talk about today because this one is not actually a review. Maybe it's a review of you. Maybe it's a review of me because we have a particularly interesting situation here. I call this video the big lie and this is perpetuated. It's actually something that's almost systemic that's worked its way down because we're accepting products that aren't finished. And this years and years ago would have never flown. I don't know if it's our standards have gotten so low because the tech companies have created such low standards by putting things out that aren't ready yet. And then just by acquiescence and the fact that we're just used to it, it's part of our expectations now. And our expectations should not be lower. Our expectations should be higher than ever. Why? Because we're paying so much money for these products. How is it that we have gotten to a place where you get a $1,000 phone, a $1,200 phone, a $1,500 phone, even a six or seven, $800 phone, and it's not a finished product when we get it. Like what I mean is the software in this instance, but in other instances, it can be other things. So how do you get a product that shows up and it has problems that clearly were rushed and put out and weren't ready yet, but then you paid full price for it, expecting it to be right, and then it has all these problems. This is not anything that applies in very many other departments. Like you don't get a toaster and well, you know, 90% of the time it makes the toast. The other 10% it just sits there or, you know, it shoots sparks out of it. But 90% of the time it's good. Or you don't go by a swimming pool and like, well, I mean, it mostly holds the water. I mean, if you get the water hose, it's got a slow leak. You just have to add a little bit of water every once in a while. But we're going to get it fixed though because we're going to get a patch for it and that's going to fix it. Or... What if you get a car and well, I mean, 95% of the time the brakes work, but we are, we're working on it. Okay. We're going to get a patch put out that doesn't work anywhere else. Like if you get your phone and you go, well, yeah, and this isn't just for bugs. This is for features too. Like a couple years ago with the iPhone and the cold fusion that was supposed to be so good. And everybody was like, oh, it's so amazing. Oh, coming four months later. Or how about whenever the Apple watch came out and it had the EKG for the first time or ECG, sorry, electrocardiogram. And then it wasn't available for like six months and it was like forever till it was available in other markets. And even still then not in some markets, how is it that we're being sold these beta products or we're sold, we're sold products with issues? Yes. Most recently I'm talking about Android 12 with the Google pixels, but as many of you have pointed out in the comments, yes, Apple does that too. Samsung does that too. And my thing to you is it's just as unacceptable. I can't make videos about everything, but yeah, I was very aware that these things had issues. My iPhone 13, when I got it, my iPhone 13 pro, it had issues with iOS 15 and pretty much every day when I left the house for a week, every time I would leave the house because some issue with the bug with the Wi-Fi, every time I would leave my home and my Wi-Fi connection, my data would stop working and I would have to reset the modem on my phone to get it to reconnect to data. And I didn't realize it for like the first day or two. I was just driving around. I'm like, why don't I have any messages? Why am I not getting phone calls? Why am I not getting internet access? It would make my cell phone modem not work. So yeah, there, these things are ridiculous. And what's even more ridiculous is that we've gotten so far down this rabbit hole over the last couple of years that it's like, we'll take anything. They're like, here, we're going to give you this phone. Well, I mean, these this won't be ready till later, but we're going to sell it to you now. And this is going to be an advertising point because you're going to want it. Like, you're really, really going to want this. And then you can hurry up and wait, but you got to go buy it now. And then when you do get it, oh, yeah, my, my phone is randomly calling people out of my contacts. My quick setting screen is freezing. My phone magically resets. My UI crashes. My apps are crashing all over the place. It's okay though. There's a software patch coming. Google's going to fix it. Or you know, Samsung and their phone when they put out last year, the S20 Ultra. The focus was horrendous. Like $1,399 phone where if anything is moving, it gets the worst blurred, like not accurate picture whatsoever. It took them almost a year to fix that. So what is the remedy here? Like, how do we find ourselves in a position where we will have such low expectations? It's like when you, you build this thing up in your mind and you're like, okay, you're going to go out on this amazing date and this girl or this guy, they're going to be so hot. And then they show up and you're just like, I mean, they kind of look like they did in their picture. I mean, sure. Yeah, that's cool. I, I'll, 
yeah, I, I, I like the idea of this person so much that when I met him in life, they, they were not the same. So I'm okay with it anyway. Yeah, it, it's false advertisement. And when you look at these phones, you look at these, whatever it is, Apple, Samsung, Google, it doesn't matter at this point because they all do it. Every single one of them push out a product that is not 100% ready to go when we get it. And then we're just like, well, it mostly works the way that it's supposed to. So we're okay with that. Yeah, at the end of the day, whenever you go home, you still take your shoes off the same way. You still get your soda, your beer from the refrigerator, and the TV show still comes on the way it's supposed to. Life is largely unaffected by it. But whenever you have these issues, how do we get past this? How do we find ourselves back in a position where we can put the leverage back in our pocket as opposed to theirs? Because these companies need to know they can't keep putting out unfinished products. And this happens with software a lot too. This also happens with games. And you'll get a game and it's like, well, the multiplayer is broken. Well, this is broken. That's broken. We find ourselves in a position now where the level of acceptability and the standards and expectations have been so low by this recurring problem we have with these companies that, yeah, I don't think at this point it's possible to get it fixed. If it is, I mean, I hope so one day that would be nice. But I was just thinking about this because all these people... I was highlighting the fact that Google set the pixel up for success by launching it with software that wasn't ready yet. And then it's like, oh, it's all right. Google's going to fix it. It's all right. Apple does this. Why are you saying this about the pixel phone? The iPhone did this too. Very well aware of that. Keenly aware, not what the video is about, but it made me think about this larger issue because we're in a position now where we deal with this all the time. If I went and I turned in a product for work and it were you know, spell check issues, the spacing is off, the paragraph is off, I had the wrong case number in there, I would get written up. I mean, if I kept doing it, I'd get fired. There has to be a level, there has to be an acceptable level of proficiency whenever you put these things out. There has to be a standard and there needs to be some recourse for it. And the worst part about this of all is it's really hard to complain about it because you can't get a hold of anyone anymore. And these companies are so big, they just don't care because if they put it out and you don't buy it, you'll take it back to the store. Somebody else will buy it because their products are such in demand, especially now that you can't find these things. So I don't know how, other than just plain not buying the product, we get any sort of leverage back in our pocketbook, back in this unequal position. When you buy something, when you go in and into, into agreement, it's supposed to be like an arm's length transaction. It's supposed to be you know on the basis of, you know, fair dealing and all that good stuff, but it's really hard to believe that these people are putting their best foot forward and that it's an equally weighted fair deal when we go buy something and they make a product that's just not ready yet. And then, oh, well, we'll fix it later. Sometimes it's not fixable later. Like what happens if we get this Pixel 6 now and the fingerprint sensor is so broke that this is the best that it's going to get and it never gets any better. And then we believe that it's going to get better. Because one day this is going to bite us in the rear end. And I, it kind of did with the S20 Ultra because that camera was never really completely fixed. So what happens one day when something is so fundamentally flawed that they're never able to fix it. And then they perpetuate this lie and this disbelief that we have that it's going to get fixed for so long. And it just never does. I know it's happened before, it's happened with other products before, but what what happens when it's a big fatal issue that just creates so many problems that the level of acceptability is so low, people return the phones in droves. Maybe that phone becomes a failure, maybe it becomes a scapegoat, maybe it becomes a maybe it becomes the face of this movement. But there has to be a point where we say, look, we've had enough. You need to quit selling us this stuff and it not being finished. There is testing for a reason. There's a beta process for a reason. Quit selling a stuff that's not ready to go yet. And I'm not, this is not a rant where I'm just harping on the pixel. This is everything. This is iPhone and the iOS. This is Apple and releasing products and not giving us the features until six months down the road. This is Samsung and their focus issues with the phone. This is pixel. This is anything phone or tech related you can think of. We need to stop saying, look, it's okay, it's going to get fixed. And we need to quit saying, oh, well, the other guy did it, so that makes it okay. It doesn't make it okay. That just points out how broken the system is and your level of acceptability with what you're willing to accept whenever you spend $1,000 for a phone. Me? Not cool with that. That's why I make videos. That's why it irks me. 
And that's probably why half of these companies will never send me a phone. But I'm okay with that. I don't really care. I will sit here and say what I want for the rest of my life. And that's okay. So, I don't know. Think about it. What do you think? Is this a problem? Is this something that we've just let draw on for way too long and there's no accountability for? Which is kind of hard to hold them accountable anyway because they don't care about the emails. They don't respond. And you can't even get a hold of a person anymore. Used to be you could at least wait online long enough and get a hold of an actual person and complain. Nowadays, you can't even do that. It's There's so many prompts and misdirections and auto call systems that they want they want to keep you as far from actually talking to somebody as humanly possible. And they do a really good job of it. You basically have to just lambast them and barrage them on Twitter with a bunch of a bunch of complaints until somebody pays attention or until people get tired of you complaining. There's not a whole lot of recourse for this. So w- there needs to be a way that we can try and address this better, but I don't know. It's something that was irking me today. I'm like, how did we get here? Like, really, how, how do we get to this point? So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those down in the comment section and I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, <laughs> I mean, I, I hope, I guess you like rants, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. Uh, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell if you want updates when new videos come out. As always, thanks for being here. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you guys next time.